A pendulum having a bob of mass m is hanging in a ship sailing along the equator from east to west. Find the ship uh, when the ship is stationary with respect to water. The tension in the spring is t naught. Find the speed of the ship due to rotation of the earth about its axis. Fine. Now, first of all, let's say this is my earth. Okay. Try to be a bit imaginary while drawing the sketch so that you can understand that what actually is happening. Fine. This is my north. This is my south. Let's say this is my west and east. Okay. Now I'll see from here. Okay. And now I'll make the diagram. So it will be something like this. That this is my east and this is my west and it is traveling like this over the surface. Fine. The ship is over here somewhere with a pendulum. Fine. Now initially it is uh, I'll consider that it is rotating with a speed omega naught that is the earth that is the rotation due to the earth axis I have to calculate the speed of the ship due to rotation fine so of course that will be given by let's say this distance is r so we will be simply given by r omega because initially we considered that rotation is only due to the axis of the earth so the linear velocity will be given by r omega fine in second case we have to calculate the difference between t naught and the earth attraction on the bob now the earth's attraction is mg fine now since it is moving from east to west at condition of equilibrium that is along this axis i can write t naught is in our direction mg is downward toward the center and of course a centripetal force that will be given by m omega square r so i can write mg is equal to t naught plus m omega square r and i have to calculate the difference between t naught and the earth attraction that is mg minus t naught earth attraction and tension that is given by m omega square r where omega is the rotation of the earth and r is the radius of the earth so that is the answer again in c part if the ship sails at a speed v what is the tension in the spring okay now if the ship is sailing at a speed v and the earth is also rotating with an omega fine so let's say the surface of earth or the surface of the ocean the linear velocity of the surface of the ocean will be r omega fine and the speed of the ship is v so the relative velocity of the ship with respect to the earth will be given by v minus r omega fine so I'll calculate the actual omega with which the ship is rotating now and that will be given by V minus R omega by R fine now again applying the condition of equilibrium that is mg is equal to t naught plus m omega square R this was the initial condition fine when it was rotating with an omega or else I mean rather not to go this way fine I can write that t will be equal to t naught minus omega square r fine I, omega s e fine i can write this way because now what is happening is that the speed of the ship is increased earlier it was rotating with the speed of the rotation of earth now its speed is increased so its centripetal force was increased so its tension will decrease and the tension will be decreased by this very amount so t naught minus omega s e that is v minus r omega by r whole square into r fine r square okay so what i can write is t naught minus v square plus r square omega square minus 2 v r omega by r into 1 m is missing over here r square r into m fine so just solve this we'll ignore v square and r square omega square because we know that omega is of the power of 10 to the power minus 5 and it's square okay so it will go to 10 to the power minus 10 and of course we can ignore it and again the velocity will be also in the same ratio to that of omega so it can be also neglected so the tension will come out to be 2v 
R and R, this R and this R is cancelled, this R and this R will get cancelled. So 2V omega m, that is the approximately answer, right? 